Hello friend humans, Lucas Levy Keppel here and uh, I am so excited uh, because I've got something to show you which you can probably see in the image already. Uh, since the beginning of the pandemic I've been saving up in order to uh, purchase a new item. At, at first I thought it was going to be a, a one wheel and then I uh, thought maybe an electric skateboard. Then I got into uh, riding bicycles and that's where I ended up um, deciding to put the money that I was saving into a new bike. So let me uh, talk to you about this new bike and show it off a little bit. We'll load it up for um, bike packing and for travel and everything, but this is, as it is right now, the stock. <laughs> Now, after looking at a lot of bikes on the market, and oh boy, there are a lot of them, uh, I wanted to do something that was, um, let's say, price conscious. I didn't want to go too high with the price, but I also wanted something that was going to work for me. I've been riding a bike that was a hand-me-down from my dad that he got on clearance sale from a department store uh, some years ago. We never had a bike bike fit, uh, never tried anything like that, so wanted to do something that was an actual fit for me an actual bike um, from a bike shop, local bike shop if I could, or online. And I ended up looking at a lot of different bikes online and finally I was just about ready to buy one. Went to the local bike shop, uh, the Bicycles of Tulsa, and uh, hopped on board um, one of their test rides just to make sure that I had some of my, my thinking right. And I enjoyed riding that one so much, I came back the very next day and bought it. And this is that bike. It is the Giant Rome 4 2021 edition, and uh, it is a beautiful bike. Um, I wasn't entirely happy with the black color, but I figured as long as it's uh, inexpensive, and this one did not break the bank, um, but did manage to use the money I'd been saving up, it was uh, exactly what I was looking for. Uh, it has all sorts of different things that I had been missing, um, everything from uh, more than seven speeds, it's 14 speed, twice, twice what I had on my old bike. Um, and mechanical disc brakes, which uh, are a big step up from the V brakes that I had on the other bike. Now there's a lot of differences um, in how things have gone. Even these pedals are much nicer and much grippier than the old pedals, something as simple as that. But uh, being able to mount a rack on the back meant that I was really happy with it and the uh, Bike shop installed that for me, so I didn't have to do it myself. Um, the seat is their giant comfort seat. That's taking a little bit of time to get used to. I'm still not entirely sure whether I'm going to replace that with the one that I used on the old bike. There's something about those uh, gel seats that just uh, fits right for me. I was just thrilled to find this new bike, the, the Giant Rome 4, and I'm really excited uh, for it. I, I've ridden it a little bit since we started, but uh, let me show you the, the modifications I've made from stock. This is pretty much stock. You can see there's a light on the front and a uh, GoPro holder uh, that also doubles for some other things. But uh, let's show you with the magic of editing what it looks like with all of my stuff back on the bike. Here we go. And there it is, the bike with all of the bike packing and commuting bags attached. My plan is to use this to commute to work um, at least a couple times a week and uh, to use it for bikepacking adventures sometimes when I have the opportunity to do so, which is why I wanted something that could do a little bit of everything, um, which is why I got the type of bike called a hybrid bike. So this, this hybrid style was exactly what I was looking for. Uh, it's a little bit of a road bike, a little bit of a mountain bike, but not able to do fully either. Um, but still, it can get me a little bit off road onto some trails and uh, get me to work maybe a, a little bit faster than I otherwise would have, but seriously? Are you done? Right, I think the uh, 
noise has died down a little bit. <clears throat> and now the birds step up, but birds are okay. We'll make that work. So this is, as I said, a hybrid style. Not as fast as a road bike, not as able to do some of the downhill technical stuff that a mountain bike can, but as for what it does, it does a little bit of everything, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm something of a generalist myself, and this bike uh, will be able to help me do that. I did commute to work a couple times with it already, uh, and it actually took about 20 minutes off the commute from where I had been on my old bike, which is phenomenal. I had no idea that the bike was holding me back quite to that level. Now, I'm not trying to go full out. I'm certainly not a racer, but I do look forward to going uh, on some bike adventures um, and having a little bit of an easier time and not having to hike a bike quite as often. Anyway, let's, uh, let's take a look at it a little bit closer and see some of those details, hey? So here in the front of the bike, we have this uh, dry bag. It is by the company Framed Bags, which is way down there. Hard to see. Uh, it and a bike packing back, uh, the seat pack, were uh, included as a set. I don't have the bike packing seat pack on here right now, but uh, it could be added to add even more storage. This dry bag I've been using to take my, uh, my laptop tablet to work, and it has been working, but uh, I've got something to make that a little better now. I just moved this light over from my old bike. Um, it's uh, a little long in the tooth, probably will stay with us only for a little bit longer. Then I've got my water bottle and snack bag and trash bag. As you can see, I've already had one bar on the trip today, but that's the, the way of it sometimes. Come on, there we go. Down here, we have the frame bag, and this has some nice little pack uh, uh, flaps on it and the ability to hold a lot of things. I'm hoping to put some uh, a water bladder in there or maybe some pieces of the tent and, and hammock that I take with me when I go bikepacking. In the back, we have this beautiful Topeak um, combination pannier. You see this folds down to become an actual pannier. Eep. I can remember how I to do it. There it is. Yes, so becomes a pannier. It also has storage as a trunk bag, as they're called. And this whole thing, ah, why did I leave the pannier out? I don't know sometimes. The whole thing stores up neatly like that. But then just from this one little clip here in the front, slides out and I can take it off the, bag, uh, the bike and in with me. So that's gonna be my new commuting bag. Though I haven't used it as such yet because it just came in. In the back, I've got my little flashy light. Let cars know that I exist. I also have one of those on my helmet as well as the reflector down there. It's very important to let cars know that you exist. As you can see, I've got my uh, biking gloves tucked into the little pocket here. And then let's get to the cockpit itself. Up here, uh, we have battery pack, um, which is just an anchor power pack, and my cell phone holder. But in this case, I didn't see the need to get a cycling computer when I had a cell phone that could do just about everything anyway. So added that in. And that's pretty much where we stand with the, the bags and, and things in the, the bike. Uh, you might be able to see here, there's a little GoPro mount down here. That lets me, uh, well, mount the GoPro if I want to get some forward-facing footage. I've also, let's see if you can see it in the shadow, I've got the GoPro mounted on a little flexi extender stick, um, which lets me attach it to some other places on the bike too and get some interesting footage. So that's the, uh, that's the new bike. It is very exciting to be able to, to have this and I'm looking forward to taking you on some adventures with it. So far it's done well by me. I, I haven't taken as good care of it as I could have from the very get-go. There's been some damage as it's run into things and fallen over and the like. But I'm just excited for it. Anyway, friend humans, thanks for joining me today. And this is uh, the excitement of new bike day with the giant Rome 4. And I look forward to all of the adventures we can go on together.